back to my channel. My name is Summer. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you again. So obviously by the title of this video, I'm going to be going over my Disney college program and the pros and cons and my experience overall. And not everyone's experience is the same. Okay, I know everyone had different experiences. This is just my experience overall. By the way, this is like kind of scripted. I have a list on my computer. So if I'm looking down a lot, I'm sorry. I'm reading off my list. I'm going to start with the cons because, you know, you want to start with the bad news before you get the good news. So obviously when you come down to work the Disney College program, you're going to be working. That's the point blank period. And you're going to be overworked a lot. A lot. So depending on certain positions, you're going to feel like you're overworked. Everyone has their fair share of feeling overworked. I know I feel overworked. Sometimes you get burnt out from work. I feel burnt out sometimes and that's fine. It just depends on, it depends on the position that you have. For me, I worked at resorts. I worked merchandise in resorts. And for me, I didn't get, my hours weren't as hectic as other positions. Like for example, if you work more so in the parks, your hours do stretch more. You work long hours. Um, sometimes I did pick up in the parks, but it wasn't that often. So depending on what position, I know for like custodial and maybe attractions, especially in Magic Kingdom, oh babes you're working you're working okay then again i wasn't working in these places but i just heard from other people my roommates for example they was working two of my roommates worked in magic kingdom and my other roommate worked at epcot now epcot their hours aren't as crazy but magic kingdom during the holidays insane so just prepare for the long work days if you haven't worked long work days before but yeah um let's just get this out the way the cost of rent it's a lot i'm not gonna lie to you it's a lot for a weekly basis by the way you do get paid 16 and i think the pay is still 16 an hour i think if you're in entertainment as a cp i think it's like 18 i think um but yeah it's 16 an hour for cps um so the cost of rent is taken out of your check each week which is I can see the pros and cons in that because you know we're young students you know most of us live on college campuses or we live at home with our parents and we probably haven't lived, lived alone you know by ourselves completely before and never actually paid rent so it's probably smart that you know they take our rent out of our checks instead of us paying it on one day out of the whole month on the first of every month because who we probably wouldn't have reached a lot of us probably wouldn't have reached our rent. I'm being frank with you. Um, but yeah, so I lived in a two by two, which is I shared a bedroom and I shared a bathroom. And at the time it was $191 weekly, but I think it did go up since then. Mind you, I just had my Disney college program. I had it from August 14th to January 4th of 2024 so I just left under a month ago but I know the rent did change but it is now I think it's like closer to 200 or maybe like 210 I think um depending on what other dorms you have I know like a four by two I think that's still I think that's like 215 220 and I think a four by four is 235 but then again Everything changed when I left, so please don't quote me on that. But I know from my experience, mind you, this is my experience, a two by two was $191 every week. Um, if you do work resort life, I'm speaking on resort life specifically. If you do work resort life, um, your minimum hours will be like 30 to 32. I can't guarantee that because everyone's different, but I know for my resort, we worked like 30 to 32 hours. That was our minimum um pretty much every week if you wanted more hours sometimes they would give you more hours you know just there's no telling when they just did sometimes they give you more hours um but i know for me i would have to pick up other places to get more hours in if that makes sense so yeah resort hours they're not a lot especially when you get your rent taken out that check baby oh oh it's like you worked all them hours to get that much it's like oh that's actually disgusting, but you know what? Just prepare yourself for that. Don't be surprised. I was surprised. Actually, I wasn't, but then I was at the same time. I was like, oh, that's not <laughs> in a sense that living in Orlando, it's not gonna lie, it's a little bit expensive. <laughs> it's a little bit expensive because we are in a tourist spot and a lot of tourists 
shop there, of course, because Disney is right there. Disney, SeaWorld, Universal, literally all in Orlando. So it's a little bit expensive because everybody, they don't get their money. Especially getting groceries. Make sure you budget. I'm so serious. Make sure you budget for your grocery trips, okay? And if you have parents that, you know, that provide for you, luckily my parents, I'm so blessed that my parents had my back. Like, you know, they gave me financial help when I needed it. Um, I didn't have to worry too much about like groceries or where the money is going to come from. Um, you know, so if you have that same, you know, access, use your parents. But if you don't, that's okay. Just you have to budget a little bit more. The best place to shop that is pretty much cheap-ish. I mean, every place is kind of expensive because it just is. I would say maybe Walmart or oh Walmart, <laughs> Walmart or Aldi, depending on what you get. But yeah, I promise you the con list is not that long. But I'm just trying to. <laughs> I'm just trying to give you every single detail I can think of. I want everyone to have a good information before they go down to the Disney College program. Because when I was doing my research before I came down here, I was doing research, girl. And I want you guys to have the same luxury and make the decision upon yourself. Yeah. Orlando is very far from everything. And I mean everything. Okay, I might be over-exaggerating, but Orlando is far. <laughs> like... Where we live, Flamingo Crossings, it's pretty far. I mean, obviously we're in Orlando, but it's far from some essential places. Not essential, I'm lying. Okay, like places that you would go on a regular Tuesday. Like it's far from like the mall. And it's far, I'm thinking about this like in a way if people don't have cars to Uber places, it's far. Okay, so the mall is pretty far for me particular what i'm talking about as a black girl i go to the beauty supply store like two to three times uh, a week um the nearest beauty supply store if you're a black person and you know what i'm talking about the nearest beauty supply store is 30 minutes away <gasps> uh, gasp yeah maybe i'm spoiled because where i live i have like 10 beauty supply stores down the street so maybe that's why i'm shook but yeah, this is the beauty supply store they have is Sally Beauty. So do with that what you will. I go to Aldi's often, but I didn't really go to Aldi's down there because it's pretty far from everything. Okay, obviously we're in Central Florida, so it's hot. So if you are going to be working, doing your CP in the summertime, please, 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 please be very, very hydrated. I don't care if you're not thirsty, drink your water. Cause it is hot. It is very humid in central Florida in the summertime. This one girl, it's at the beginning of my CP. We were on the bus, not even at work. We were on the bus to Magic Kingdom. This girl passed out on the bus. We haven't even stood outside for more than an hour. She passed out on the way going from east. Mind you, east and west, there's two Flamingo Crossings villages. There's east and west. And the way it is, you leave east this way, you go straight, make a left, and then you make another left. That's how far it is. It's like three minutes away. She passed out during that ride. Drink your water. Florida don't play. Florida does not play, okay? But <laughs> as a black person working in a work environment, um, I wouldn't call them microaggressions. I would just call them like micro somethings. I don't know. The, I don't know what you call it, but I have not let this go. <laughs> I don't care if it's people being curious or not. Just don't ask me questions about what I got going on. I can't say that this is microaggressions for me. I really don't want to put like I don't want to put this label on nobody. But like, just be prepared to be annoyed a little bit. Um, I've had a couple of white people like touch my hair when I had my braids and just you know just grabbing my hair like a little dog and petting my hair um just like be prepared for that um actually don't be prepared for that because I wasn't prepared for that um stand up for yourself but then again 
watch how you do it because you will get fired because they don't play but still stand up for yourself um say oh no friend i'm gonna keep my hair thank you i had like two of my cords no one of my cords and one leader asked me oh, is that your real hair that kind of just blew me because like i don't know that happened twice at different times like, i had a long braids at the start of my program and then one of my leaders asked me he asked me and my friend me and my coworker, the only two black girls there now let me ask you is that your real hair if you have to ask you know the answer be for real because if you have to ask me and not ask katie or lily you know the answer so why are you asking um also like me and my only other black co-worker of course you know we, we talked we were friends obviously i think we just black girls a little bit too close for comfort for some people and um they separated us. They literally said, you two are a distraction. We have to separate you. And I'm not even exaggerating those words. I'm saying that verbatim. I don't know what that was giving, but Lily and Katie chatted up all the time. They chatted up, blah, 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 blah. But oh, it's mm, when it comes to them, but it's mm, when it comes to me and my other black coworker. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. That didn't really sit right with me, but you know, whatever. That's why I started leaving my home location a lot more and going other places because I was like, mm, -hmm, I don't like the vibes here. But don't let them discourage you. On to the pros. <laughs> Woo! Um, I'm gonna leave off the same note. I had a really good coworkers. I'm not gonna hold you. I Besides the ones that I couldn't stand, there was a lot of CPs where I was. So obviously when you're, when you're a CP, you work mostly nights. So, well, 99% of the time you will work nights. And it was fun because you know, we all live in the same place. We're all young, so it's fun. We all goofed around, but it was fun. I, I definitely missed all my coworkers. You know, we had a good time. Um, love them. Another thing like you have in this program besides coworkers, you're going to meet a lot of amazing people. You're gonna meet so many good people, people from all over. Like now I have friends like in Texas, in freaking Maryland. I have friends, I met people that are from Paris, that are from Switzerland, like from Norway, like what? Like that is like the coolest thing ever. Like that is so cool. Like you just meet people from literally everywhere. So take advantage of meeting new people, especially if you don't come from a pretty big city. Take advantage of meeting new people. You never know who you can run into now in like your college years and how that can affect you later on. Like, oh, my friend lives blah, blah, blah. And you never know what, what life can lead you, you know, like meeting these people. So I had a really good time, like, you know, meeting a lot of good people. So that was actually like a really good um, pro to my program. The biggest pro of all, you go to the parks for free, girl. Hello. Like what? Who's trying to pay to get up in the parks? No, we get there for, oh, I just scratched myself. Do you know how many times I took advantage of going to those parks? I went all the time, all the time. And the best thing I love to do for myself is go by myself. I love to go to the parks by myself, especially Epcot. I don't know what it is, but Epcot, I love Epcot down. That's my girl. Epcot and Hollywood are my favorite parks. I would go to Epcot all the time just to get lunch, just to get dinner. That was it. I loved Epcot. I think it's so peaceful going to Epcot at night. I think it's the best time. And I love Epcot fireworks. I love fireworks in general, but Epcot fireworks, when they changed the fireworks show to Luminous, A down. And once you work a certain amount of hours, you start getting guest tickets. My family came down and visited me for Thanksgiving and they went to the parks for free. Your family gets it for free. Your friends get in for free. Hello, Disney's expensive, girl. Like the fact that you can get your friends and your family or whoever in for free, that kind of eats. Like you're like, you're that girl for getting them in for free. Yeah, period. Obviously, besides getting in the parks for free, you get discounts. What, girl? Like you get discounts. You get a cash discount. Bring your blue ID everywhere. 
if you drive to the parks, you get free parking. Flash your blue ID, you win that. Period. I know like during the holidays, all the cash discounts was 40%, which is why I got a lot of things. Um, I have more around my room, but it was 40%. And I know like, I think regular is like 20%, but still it's better than nothing because Disney is expensive. Also for like casting, like cast pros, you get a lot of like cool cast previews of a lot of different things. I know for me, I got a cast preview for the new Moana attraction at Epcot before Eve opened to the public. Um, the, we got a cast preview. It was pretty cool seeing it, you know, before everyone else started crowding in there. It was cool seeing kind of empty. But also I got a cast preview for Jollywood at um, Hollywood and that was pretty cool. Um, especially like that day, I don't typically work at Hollywood, but that day I, I picked up a shift and I was getting ready to go home, girls, when I was gonna clock out and leave. Then they said, no, we have like a cast preview for the new fireworks show. I said, oh, period, oh my gosh. And I, I sat there and watched it. It was so cool. I'm gonna like put some videos in my next vlog of like all my experiences and everything. Um, and also I saw a cast preview for the new Wish movie um, that came out, well, it's not new now, but it came out in November. I saw it before it came out, like the cast preview. It wasn't the whole movie. It was like a behind the scenes thing and like all the merchandise and everything. But we saw like a cast preview for that. So it's pretty cool, like seeing all that happen. Pretty fun. Like I said before, like depending on certain roles you have, you can like switch or pick up other shifts from other places. Like for me, merchandise, you can go literally anywhere. Anywhere you dream of, you desire, you can go to Springs. You can go to the parks, you can go to different resorts, wherever. Uh, I know for like custodial, you can pretty much go anywhere too. Literally, I don't know about all resorts though, but I, I think you can. But for custodial, you can go pretty much anywhere you want to. Same thing. Uh, and it works out easier because it's a universal costume with custodial. So you don't have to like worry about going to costuming and getting new costumes. Because for doing merchandise, my biggest hassle was getting costumes oh my gosh that was my biggest hassle of going to find a costume girl it's really good like on your application i'm not gonna hold you like work saying you worked at disney having disney on your resume for like schools for like applications for jobs and just scroll slap internship on there like get your foot in the door it's good for networking as well disney has like a lot of like classes well, not Disney, but like Flamingo Crossings has like certain events and classes where you can network and get kind of get your foot in the door, have people like remember who you are, especially if you want to continue with the Walt Disney World Company and stay within Disney. That's a great way to get your foot in the door. That's a great way to have people start to remember who you are, make a good impression on people. That's an amazing way to start. And honestly, they have really good skills in the classes. And I suggest, I didn't take as much advantage as I should have, but they have really good classes at Flamingo um, that provide like a lot of like um, financial skills. They have like um, resume writing skills, workshops, and like even like the fun ones too, like, oh, movie night, um, hot cocoa night, whatever the holiday is, they have like stuff like that. It was really cute. So, and it's a really good time to meet people too. I know some people, it can be a lonely time in your CP because you don't meet a lot of people. We're all trying to find friends. We're in a new place with people we don't know. So everyone's trying to branch out and find friends. Another pro is like the amenities, the pool, the gym, community center, so nice. I'm not gonna hold you like the fire pit, the pool, especially at the West Campus, the pool, the amenities there are much nicer. I lived at East and I have to, like say that west was a lot better in my opinion i thought it was more spacious it's really beautiful and the gym is so nice girl take advantage of the gym it's so nice oh so if you do not have a car don't worry don't fret they do have buses that take you to everywhere you need to go they have buses that take you to target walmart for grocery shopping um they also take you to like of course every single disney location because you gotta work here's some tips before you go down there. Save, 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 save as much money as you can. Again, I had my parents help when I was down there. And honestly, I didn't apply to this program until May of 2023. 
and then I found out I was going like beginning of June and um, I had two months to save money. So I worked two jobs to save that money and it was summertime. So thank goodness I wasn't busy or anything. Try your best to save money if you can. It's hard because you are essentially shopping for yourself. Especially because like I would go get groceries, I would buy things for myself, or I would go out with my friends and Ubers cost money. You know, honestly, the thing about this program, it does teach you how to adult a little bit. So we got, you know, start making adult decisions and that starts by saving a little bit of money. My best advice to you will be to try to get out of the Disney bubble if you can. Do something that makes you happy because you're going to get kind of tired of Disney when you're stuck there 24 seven. You will feel trapped. Yep. Yep. Like go to the mall, go to the bookshop. I would go to Barnes and Noble, girl. I love Barnes and Noble. I sit there all day. Um, go to Universal if you can. I know that's like competition, Ooh. but go to Universal. If you can, save up to go to Universal because Universal was so much fun. Honestly, it was a kind of a breath of fresh air <laughs> from being at Disney all the time. Especially if you love roller coasters, like roller coasters you're gonna love universal i've never been before i got down here to disney so i had a time and i will be going back yep yep also universal city walk that's completely free you can just go there and walk around and find things to do and if you're of age they have like clubs and also i know this is still a part of disney but go to disney springs girl i love one thing about me, I love Disney Springs. I was always there. I was always at Disney Springs, girl. And also, if you can, this is a big if, this is my advice. If you can bring a car, your car, I would, but not everyone has that luxury. But I understand, but if you just have one and you know, like you're thinking, huh, maybe I can go without it, you could. But I just prefer to have mine with me. And that's my biggest advice because, you know, it's easier to get around. So bring your car if you can. It is an extra fee, though. I think it was like 180 if you have a car. But you know what? I think it was worth it. Last tip. Learn how to work Facebook. Me, I had no clue. In Orlando, they use Facebook very heavy. So learn how to use Facebook. Learn how to, like, you know, get on Facebook groups or whatever in... That's how you like trade and give up your shifts and um, pick up shifts and all of that. I'm having an amazing time. It's so much fun, honestly. I would rate my whole experience like a seven out of 10. I had a good time. Uh, even though I complained a lot, I had a great time. <laughs> I would do it again. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it was kind of lengthy, but thanks for sticking through with me. So thanks for watching and have a great day.